So any of these people here at the corner of Guy and St. Catherine Street could sue me for doing this, and they would sue you for doing the same thing, because Quebec is the only place in North America that has a law saying that you uh, cannot film people without consent if it's not a newsworthy situation. That's not true. But to understand why someone might have that misconception, we need to start by talking about this photo. Now imagine you're that person, and that photo was taken without your knowledge or your consent while you were just going about your daily life. And then that photo ends up on the cover of a widely distributed magazine in your community. Would you be okay with that? Many people wouldn't, and that's why Quebec law protects a person's right to their privacy and their image. That photo was taken in 1988, and Pascal Claude Aubry, the subject of that photo, was 17 at the time. She sued the magazine, and after a 10-year legal battle, the Supreme Court of Canada awarded her $2,000 in damages. But, and this is what's important to remember, neither Quebec law nor the Supreme Court judgment makes it illegal to take pictures or video in public places where people can be identified. For starters, Quebec law makes it perfectly legal to publish images or video of people taken in public if what they're doing is newsworthy. But second, Secondly, and this is where we're getting to the point, the Supreme Court judgment made it very clear that it is also perfectly legal to take images or video of public places, even if there are people there who can be identified. And that's because there's a difference between publishing images of a public place where there are people and images of people in a public place. Intuitively, everyone can tell the difference. That is a video of a public place. It's not about any particular person who happens to be there, and you don't need anyone's consent to publish that. But that photo isn't of a public place. It's of a person who happens to be in public. And since she's not doing anything particularly noteworthy to publish that, you need her consent. Most people would agree that that rule is pretty reasonable. 